Okay, let's have some fun with complex fractions. And I know all of you out there love fractions. Uh, typically, the response is when people said, hey, you're going to do some fraction problems, uh, people generally look like this. They're like, fractions? I can't wait to do fractions. It's the favorite part of my day. Well, in reality, of course, I'm being funny because most math students are like fractions. They're like, mm, I hate fractions. Just give me numbers without fractions. I'll be happy. Well, we got to be friendly with fractions because fractions are everywhere in mathematics. And the more you practice fractions, the better you're going to be. So what we're talking about here uh, is complex fractions. So what is this uh, complex thing here? What is What are we talking about? Well, that's pretty easy. Um, a complex fraction is simply a fraction within a fraction. So you can see here my numerator, my top part of this fraction, is in fact a fraction. So we have a fraction as part of a larger fraction that is a complex fraction. Okay, so if you think you know how to solve this problem, go ahead and put your answer into the comments section, and then we'll compare notes here in just one second. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tabla Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school uh, math teacher. I'm going to leave a link to my math help uh, program in the description of this video. But if you are having a tough time in math, maybe you failed math before in the past, maybe you're uh, struggling with math right now, I'm telling you, it doesn't have to be that way. I've been teaching math for decades, and I like to think of myself as actually explaining math versus teaching uh, math. I really break things down in super clear and understandable bite-sized pieces so anyone can learn this stuff, and anyone can. If you have the desire to put in the effort, well, I think I have the right math instruction for you. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or college level, you definitely want to check out um, my mathematics uh, program. Now, if you're preparing for any test that has a math section on it, I'm talking about things like the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, ACCUPLACER, CLIP exam, maybe a teacher certification exam. You get the idea. I can help you prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, well, you definitely got to check out my homeschool math courses. Uh, matter of fact, my courses, my homeschool courses were just voted number one, uh, a very, very big, um, large national publication, uh, number one in middle and high school mathematics. We're going to be announcing uh, that here uh, shortly, formally. But uh, again, that's a really big tribute. So if you homeschool, you definitely got to check out my program. Now, if you need some math notes, uh, I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video. But you will not get good grades in math or great grades in math without taking great math notes. So start improving your notes and your grades will start improving magically right alongside your uh, improved math notes. Okay, so let's get into this problem. Again, if you want to uh, try this, just go ahead and pause the video. It'll take you all of about 30 seconds to do. But uh, with that being said, let's get into the solution. Okay, so let me go ahead and just show you the answer right here. The answer is 4 over 33. Okay, so how many of you got that right? Well, if you got that right, let me go ahead and give you a nice happy face with the good old 1982 flat top haircut and an A+. Plus. Nice job, okay? All right, but uh, for those of you out there who are kind of confused about this, well, let's go ahead and explain this. So here is our problem, 2 thirds divided by 5 and 1 half. So the first thing you need to do is rewrite this complex fraction in a better way where we can actually do this. So what we're going to do is say, okay, we have 2 thirds divided by 5 and 1 half. But instead of writing it this way, we're going to write it this way. We're going to say 2 thirds. Now, this long fraction bar there really means division. So this is 2 thirds divided by. So, But I'm going to use this division operator, 5 and 1 half. Okay, so let's just make sure you understand that 2 thirds divided by 5 and 1 half is the same thing as uh, this, 2 thirds divided by 5 and 1 half. But I want to go ahead and set this problem up this way. Okay, so now we're just dealing with a regular uh, fraction problem that involves division. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is uh, rewrite this mixed number, 5 and 1 half, as an improper fraction. So how do we do that? Well, 5 and 1 half is the same thing as 2 times 5, which is 10 plus 1 or 11 halves. So that's why we're going to rewrite this uh, 2 thirds divided by 5 and 1 half as 2 thirds divided by 11 halves. Okay, so if you have any more questions on uh, fractions, I have tons of fraction videos on my YouTube channel. Matter of fact, um, some of my most uh, popular uh, videos are, have to deal with fractions. A lot of people need 
uh, uh, fraction help. I actually have millions of views on my uh, videos about fractions, so that's a pretty good indication that uh, a lot of people out there uh, need help with fractions. But uh, hopefully, you know, you understand this stuff. And if you need to review after this, go ahead and follow through. But let's get back to the problem. All right, so two thirds divided by five and one half is the same thing as two thirds divided by 11 halves. Now, when we're dealing with fractions, you, we never really do division. What we're going to do is take that, take this problem and turn it into a multiplication problem. Okay, so instead of doing a division problem, we're going to turn this fraction problem into multiplication. And the way we do that is this fraction to the right of this division operator, we're going to flip it upside down. So we're going to turn this into multiplication, and uh, we're going to flip this fraction upside down. Now we have a multiplication problem. Okay, so this is the two-step. So when you see division, turn it into multiplication by flipping this fraction upside down. So now we have 2 thirds times 2 over 11. Now, how do we multiply fractions? Super easy. We just multiply the respective numerators and denominators. So 2 times 2 is 4. 3 times 11 is 33. And there you go. There is our answer. So nice job. Again, here is your 1982 A+. Plus. That was an excellent uh, decade, the 80s. Um, for those of you that didn't live through the 80s, it is true. We used way too much hairspray in our uh, hair products. I never wore long, crazy hair. I was more of a short hair person like this. And um, it was uh, uh, for the best because... Uh, you know, in my heyday in high school, why not? I had short hair, flat tops and whatnot. And then when I, off, I, I went off into the military and the Marine Corps, I just kept that hairstyle. So even today, I like short hair. Anyways, uh, I digress. You know, I don't want to go uh, too much into my uh, nostalgic memories of the 80s. But uh, let's go ahead and wrap this video up. Okay. Again, fractions is something you absolutely need to know uh, in algebra. Uh, and arithmetic, obviously, okay? If you don't understand fractions, you're gonna have a difficult time in algebra. So make sure you take the time, pause, and review how to do what with fractions. Well, you need to know a lot about fractions. You need to know how to add fractions, subtract fractions, uh, multiply fractions, divide uh, fractions, how to deal with complex fractions, how to reduce uh, fractions. So, you know, it's a lot. And then you also need to know how to find the lowest common denominator, the lowest common multiple, uh, deal with fractions with variables, on and on and on. So all this stuff right here are things that you need to follow through with about fractions. I can help you out uh, in two ways. One, I have tons of videos on my YouTube channel about fractions. And two, I teach this stuff thoroughly in my algebra courses, especially in my pre-algebra course. But uh, if this little video helped you out, then go ahead and consider helping me out by smashing that like button. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, um, hopefully you'll consider uh, subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years. Have over a thousand plus math videos, basic math to advanced math, black calculus, and everything in between. So, um, you know, if you like my teaching style, please take advantage of my content. But my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.